Unstable air means we have a few days with squalls passing every few hours. The weather is now warm enough we've shed our warm clothes and enjoy the tropical shower. Well, that was heavy. Is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the visibility. Maybe three or four hundred meters. Check on the radar here. Have a look on the radar. Sir. That's what we're coming into. We've got about 1,100 miles to go to St. Lucia. It's been really nice, actually. How did you get us into this mess? <laughs> no, it was me. I was asleep at the time. <laughs> it was my watch. <laughs> it was my watch. We're all awake now, that's for sure. You guys came to my rescue. The true wind's actually not very high. It's just filled with this squall. So just a whole bunch of rain. We've yeah. reefed in the jib and we've pulled in the main, so we'll just ease it through this little bit of a squall and then we'll continue on our way. The radar is a very useful tool for storms. You can plot their position and in many cases a change of course will avoid most or all of the squall. Some squalls have more wind in them, occasionally up to 30 knots or higher, when others might not have any increase. But you still have to pay attention if there is a wind shift and we usually take the precaution of reefing the sails in case. Awesome. Fresh air. <laughs> take the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can all use it. <laughs> if you get the soap out, that's a guarantee to make it stop raining. <laughs> it's related to a tropical depression, I think, way, way up north. It was small tropical depression and this is a sort of a trailing end of it. 